Hi. Anyway, I'll be uh, focusing my attention more on this camera than yours because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be pulled off because um, when you expose Islam on the internet, it's called uh, slandering the prophet of Islam to uh, most Muslims. And O'Blamer said there must be no future for those who do that sort of thing. So I've got to make this my main focus. Sorry about that. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Huh, strange here. I think I'm still talking to the atheist. All right. That is my perception based on logic. Uh, from what I have read, studied, blah, blah, blah. Logic is not good. It doesn't mean it's uh, spot on to me or others. I bet you're right. Who truly knows? Who, who truly knows? It, 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 if he married the rich older woman and ran her business, traveled, uh, one would have to assume that uh, he had the basic ability to, ability to uh, read and write. Uh, that's going to uh, those who uh, say one of his wives was six when uh, promised and married at nine. Um, who's to say that is accurate? If it's not accurate, then you should, you should, uh, if it's not accurate, then there should uh, be no Sunni Muslims, for the Hadith says that Aisha was nine when Mo parked her. It's a he authentic Hadith, uh, and that's where it comes from. There are no absolutes, so you are an atheist. Really, even though even though one could uh, say no is an absolute, as with Earth uh, spread out on the back of a giant fish, uh, he was right or was he? Are you saying there was a possibility that Earth was and that that their time that the time the Earth was uh, spread out on the back of a giant fish, but is no longer on that giant fish? <laughs> I'm beginning to think this guy is maybe a Muslim after all. If the world is flat, oblong, uh, that statement would have some logic, as does the four angels in the four corners of the Earth, with Jerusalem being center to the four corners. Is that the whole earth or the harats, which can mean the land, you know, promised land? Yeah. And he didn't respond back after that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You know, since this just jumps right in here, I don't want to... I don't feel like reading it because it's gonna make it's gonna make things a little more a little too confusing here. So, oh, you know, there's Arabic thrown in here, so that might mean something. So, I just might need to look at it after all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I say to me, ISIS, our group of Muslims who see the Quran the way I do, uh, but don't see the stupid things. I also see the Quran saying embryos as blood clots, bones of a fetus forming first, uh, forming first, the earth uh, being flat, the sun and moon orbiting the earth. Uh. So I hope, I, I, I hope guide your, oh, you know, I don't want to read this. This is too confusing. Too confusing here. Okay, now this guy is going to be good. Yeah. But, you know, I just might read that Matt Muslim's words. Uh, but I don't think I... Had, you know, I don't, I don't respond to them. And since I don't respond to them, I'm not going to read them. Okay, the Muslim said, uh, Funny, don't... You know, for one thing, <laughs> not only do I not respond to them, I don't even know what uh, he, he is or she is saying. So I think I'll just skip them. Yeah, but they're in the book. They're in the book. So if you want to read what he or she says, go for it. Yeah. Okay. And what's coming up looks like a bunch of repeats. So this should go by pretty fast here. A lot of repeats means I'll be skipping. Yeah, I'll just say the same thing as before. That way, it'll, that way it goes by faster. And I don't waste anyone's time, including my own. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done here. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. Yeah. His name is Oth or Othman. Othman, Othman, coming up. He is coming up. And I take him on later on. I take him on three times in this thing. He's like a I go round one, round two with him. And round three. Alright. Muslims never attacked anyone unless they were attacked or a war was getting ready to attack them. What if Sharia has been implemented and non-Muslims don't pay don't want to pay jizzy tax until they are forced um, to have their patities in the air under oh, excuse me. What if Sharia has been imposed and non-Muslims don't want to pay a high tax until they are forced to have their patities in the air under the threat of death? If a non-Muslim refuses to pay uh, such a high tax, jizya, uh, due to think it's going to uh, satanic god, isn't that, con isn't that considered being at war with Muslims? But you're so far gone and a real typical hateful idiot. Well, again, what if Sharia has been implemented and non-Muslims don't want to pay a high tax until they are forced uh, to have their patees in the air under the threat of death? That'd be Quran 9, 1 through 5 and 29. Quran 9, 29. If non-Muslims refuse to pay uh, such a high tax, jizya, isn't that considered being at war against Muslims? And what if things were reversed and Muslims had to pay a high tax, jizya, until, until Muslims confess that Allah was more than one? that Mickey Mouse was the one true God, that Goofy was Mickey's messenger, and instead of bowing to Mecca five times a day, you had to have your patootie up in the air, bowing down to Disneyland in California. Or if you didn't, after the sacred months were passed of that Mickey Mouse religion, you could be killed for not paying a high tax, for not totally submitting to Mickey Mouse. Would you, oh slave of the best of deceivers, have a problem with that? ISIS, true Muslims? Fundamentalist Muslims, yes. Yes. What? Aren't you to lie, do to Kia, and, and say they actually are Jews trying to make Islamic evil instead? I can say how you're so well informed. Be because I stood the correct and he said informed. <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? Idiots like you? Anyone can read Quran 9, 1 through 5, 20, 9, 29, uh, 38, 39, and 111 to see if I am an idiot, can't they? Don't worry, they are already idiots. They don't need your help. Well, we'll let uh, idiots read Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, uh, and 111, Quran 9, 11, uh, to see if I am an idiot and see if Isis and Boko Haram aren't following those scriptures won't we? Even the village idiot knows who ISIS are. Laughing that loud. Don't tell me. They aren't Muslims falling and believing in Quran 9, 111. Uh, they're not believing in Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, and 111. They are what? Jews? Jews trying to make Islam look evil and stupid? True? Don't you know that ISIS stand for Israeli Secret Intelligence Services? You moron! If you believe Muhammad was right about the earth being spread out on the back of a giant fish, none called none. I guess I I guess I could see why you think that it was, that it stands for that. Guess what? If you're actually right, you need to tell Muslims this since so many of them are joining ISIS as they believe they are fulfilling and following Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39 and 111. Their letter is Shimon 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 Elliot of a Mossad agent. Ha ha ha. You're so funny. Well, again, if true, you need to tell Muslims this since so many of them are joining ISIS as they believe they are fulfilling and following Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, 911 that get Muslims to go to go forth and uh, kill and be killed in the cause of Allah like ISIS is doing. Jew controlled or fundamentalist Muslim controlled. They are doing that. I think I might have to uh, see here. Oh, I got about two more minutes here to go. Okay. You must be a Zionist to believe that ISIS has anything to do with Islam or Muslims. Laughing at them. All you have to do is study the Quran. 
and not even have to study it that hard to see how Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, and 111, also the first part of Quran 4, 24, created ISIS. I'm laughing my head off. What a jerk. Ha <laughs> ha. Again, all you have to do is study the Quran and not even study that hard to see those scriptures. Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, 111, and also the first part of Quran 424 and how it created ISIS. The first part of Quran 424 and how it's reported handed down in Sahih Authentic Muslim 834, 32, and especially the Sunan Abu Dawud, Abi, Abu, Abi, Abi Dawud 2250 make it so Muslims who join ISIS can rape captured women and girls. Girls, Quran uh, 65.4, for little girls, uh, being that you can divorce a little girl who hasn't even had a period yet. And Boko Haram seems to really have the first part of Quran uh, 424 in mind, being that they violate Christian Nigerian girls a lot. Yeah, a lot. Just like Al Qaeda is also Muslim, right? Ha 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 ha. Exactly, Al Qaeda is very Muslim. Almost as much as ISIS, but ISIS is pure Islam, taking to its logical conclusion. You can laugh all you want, but Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, and 111, also the first part of Quran 4, 24, created ISIS, allowing it to have license to, to, uh, license to the evil that it does and has done. Yeah, that it, evil that it has done. As far as burning people to death, that allowance comes from the Hadith when Muhammad burned a Jewish man named Kanana to find out where he was hiding money, which is very ISIS if you ask me. You sound like a real dummy. Wake up, man. The world has moved on since your ISIS al Qaeda, Boko Haram, and all the so called terrorist groups have been exposed laughing out loud. No, I think they are starting to wake up as well, more and more. I'm starting to see people like me showing from the Quran why ISIS is. Whether or not anything good will come about from it, I doubt it. For we have a Muslim Brotherhood member as president in the White House. And I think I'll end it here.